Welcome to the Revising Mixed Construction practice lesson. In the mini lesson, we learned about three common elements of mixed construction. Now let's practice revising those. Mixed sentence construction occurs when a sentence begins using one type of structure but finishes with another type of structure altogether. When it comes to mixed sentence construction, there is no one hard and fast rule for identifying or fixing the error. Unfortunately, mixed sentence construction comes in many forms, and the error is very common. So how do we recognize these errors? Well, taking the time to identify the subject and predicate in a sentence will help you recognize areas of mixed construction. On this slide, you will see three sentences. Each sentence includes one of the three common construction errors covered in our mini lesson. In a moment, I will ask you to pause the video to see if you can locate explain, and revise each of the three instances of mixed construction. When you have finished, you can restart the video to see how your ideas compare with ours. Please pause the video now and take your time in completing this important practice exercise. Have you finished reviewing the sentences, locating and revising each error? If not, please stop the video now, return to the previous slide, and complete this practice exercise. Let's review your answers. The error in sentence one was faulty predication. The subject of this sentence is quality. The verb is admire, but a person cannot be a quality, which means that the sentence is not logical. We can revise this sentence by making sure that the subject, quality, does indeed reference a quality. Just delete the problematic words and change the ending word so that it fits grammatically in this sentence. This revision works because sincerity is a quality that can be admired. Now let's look at sentence two, which had an unnecessary extra subject. Remember, the rules of standard English require only one mention of the subject. Our subject is mountains, which makes the word they, which is another reference to the same subject, unnecessary. This sentence is revised easily by eliminating the unnecessary extra subject. Finally, sentence three includes a redundant reason is because phrase. Remember, the word reason actually means because, which makes using both in this sentence redundant and illogical. We can revise this sentence simply by eliminating the redundant phrasing. Let's read it together. Ruth thought I was angry, but I yelled because I stubbed my toe. Ruth thought I was angry, but I yelled because I stubbed my toe. This sentence is no longer redundant. While you may not always have time to spend analyzing critically each and every one of the sentences in a drafted essay, you can often locate areas of mixed construction simply by listening to the way your sentences sound. In fact, sentences with mixed construction often sound just a little bit off. Because of this, we encourage you to read your draft aloud, one sentence at a time, or even better, Ask someone else to read the draft aloud to you. Then listen carefully for areas that just don't sound quite right. Thank you for completing the revising mixed sentence construction practice lesson. Now you're ready to compose sentences that are both clear and well constructed.